equipment, maintenance, wing, for lack of a better term. This is a wash bay, so bring the trucks in and hose them off at the end of the day or whatever equipment we need to have clean. This is the general uh, repair area. We've got an uh, underground pit there, uh, down by the yellow, where you pull your truck in and they can do the work from the bottom up, change the oil, do the lubrication. We have uh, the hose reels up here that have lubricants, antifreeze, different things. So that's all stored in a built a room up in the mezzanine, so we don't have to have it down here when they need something. They just pull on the, uh, the hose reel and the, the lubricants are there, oil, whatever they need. And we have a mezzanine area up here. Uh, the mezzanine was created primarily because we have office, offices and storage down here. So the mezzanine upstairs really just becomes another storage area for us. Tell me a little bit as far as the, the difference and the capabilities of this building versus what you've been working on. Uh, everything from an office standpoint is about twice as big. Uh, office, uh, employee assembly area, restrooms, uh, the, uh, the welding shop's about twice as big. The actual general maintenance area is about the same size. Mm -hmm. Uh, we did not have a separate wash bay in the old garage. Uh, everything was just washed out on the, the main garage floor, uh, which created its own set of issues. Uh -huh. You happen to be walking by when somebody was hosing, hosing their truck. <laughs> you may get an unexpected shower. But, um, and then the, uh, the actual vehicle storage area out here is at least 50% larger than what we had before. In the past, were you able to store all the trucks inside? Mm -hmm. uh, if we put them on, if we had vehicles parked in the maintenance gar maintenance bays, basically every crevice was full. Okay. Uh, now we should be able to get all the trucks parked over here in the, the main vehicle area uh, without having to have them parked in every crevice or open it. So. Much more functional. Right. And uh, yeah, we, they were packed in really tight on them. Uh, you could barely walk between the trucks once we got them on this side. It was mm -hmm. the old building. Uh, we did have heat in the main area, but it came from the, the top down. So the floor was still cold. So underneath, sure. the, underneath the trucks never really got warm. Uh, we do have in-floor heat with the new garage, and we'll have heat from the truck top. Um, we'll have a lot more space around the trucks than we did before, so the air will be able to move and circulate better. Uh, so if we do, when we do bring the trucks in in the evening and bring them inside, they should be able to thaw out by the next morning. Get warm out of yeah. And that that will really uh, reduce some of a lot of our maintenance costs. So. When do you expect to be able to actually be in? Uh, hopefully by the end of May. So the still got a few things to, to finish up. And, uh, for us to actually occupy the building, we have to make sure all the health and safety things are properly working, which means a sprinkler system and mm -hmm. uh, heat, different things. So until um, we get that final sign off by the Wood County Building Department who's they're responsible for inspecting the construction and giving us the occupancy permits.